Oh wow, this is a piece of the school bus right here. Oh my goodness. Do you want us in here or do you want us to leave? Are we disturbing you? inside the tunnel right now? They're coming out of the tunnel. Now what if you're in the tunnel and a car's coming? Do you have to like reverse? They'll wait for you. What the hell? We're going in there? Mm -hmm. This is the first tunnel. Okay. Oh. oh. It's uh, the second one is more haunted, supposedly, than the first. But uh, you're supposed to stop your car, turn off all your lights, uh -huh. and put your car in neutral. Really? And what does that do? Oh, there's someone behind us. Um, it'll push. The the spirits of the children in the bus are supposed to push your car oh. out of the tunnel. So that you don't get collapsed on too. Now, where did that happen exactly? The collapsing? And the third tunnel. Oh, gosh. This road sucks. And, of course, there's no guardrails. And there's... You can't see it, but there's the city. Or Colorado Springs down there. Oh, here's a couple of couple natural guardrails over there. All right, now we got some more natural guardrails. Oh, this is not good. Not good, not good. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, we reached the second tunnel. Well, the reason why they call this place third tunnel is because the third is the most haunted. This tunnel is haunted too. So, oh, oh, oh. I would not recommend picking your nose on this road because I got a really dry nose right now. Something like anytime I go out west, California, Nevada, Arizona, Colorado, Utah, get a really dry nose and a tissue does not work. Like you just got to get in there and prospect. You got to get it out. If not, you just can't breathe. Whoa. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Oh, we are still on this road. So I'm going to give you a little history on this road and one of the main stories that I've heard. Oh gosh. How come I feel like it got worse? I'm like dizzy now. I'm trying to not pay attention to this really narrow road that we're on. I mean, like, look, that's just a cliff. No guardrail. And it's on that side too. Look. Like we're looking at the top of pine trees right now. Years ago, there was a school bus traveling on this route. It's about 40 years ago or so. And it was carrying 50 children. It's a big school bus. And the mountain collapsed on top of the school bus, killing everybody inside, trapping everybody. And the third tunnel that we're getting ready to go into, there are still remnants of this school bus that you can see. And it's the most haunted tunnel here in Colorado. The bus driver can be seen walking and he protects these roads sometimes. It's also haunted because people come up here to dump bodies and they'll never be found after that because mountain lions get to them or other scavengers and bears do too. As of now, it's kind of used for partying. Teenagers come up here. People come up here and do things they're not supposed to do. Oh my, bro, I'm so dizzy right now. You okay? Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't pick your nose on this <laughs> road. But anyways, I'm gonna show you what it looks like here in a second. And I'm gonna get out and we'll walk around, explore a little bit. I've never been here. I don't think I would ever come to a place like this alone, like like this guy would. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blind you with my light. Oh, bro, you're really close to that cliff. Oh, gosh. So this is what we were driving on. And you can see, just nothing but cliffs. This is actually a generous one. Yeah, it just keeps going down though. This would make a good sledding hill. And I mean, I know you can't see it, but there's mountains over there with snow on them. This is beautiful out here. Yeah, it's quiet too. Think anybody's up here? We might run into a couple of people because there was a couple of cars in the uh, parking lot right there. But I don't think that they're gonna be where we wanna go. 
Okay. Once we get up there, I think they're gonna be coming back down while we're going up. I see. In case you're wondering why we're walking right now, after that bad accident, they ended up closing off this road. I guess this is an area where there's a lot of movement and rock formations and stuff like that. So more collapses in the future could happen. So they closed it off and left it open just for like walking and things like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for hiking and stuff and, and for bikes. I mean, the roads are way too dangerous. You can see, I mean, they're, I mean, not that any of the roads were kept up to begin with, but it is way too dangerous. It's too loose. Yeah. It's too loose to gravel. That and, I mean, I guess this wasn't much different than the way up. But man, I wish I could come here during the day and show you what it looks like. I mean, up ahead, there's like, if you can picture it, there's like a mountain right there and there's snow on them. I mean, it's beautiful. We're just surrounded by mountains. Aiden's light's about to die. Let me show you what, what he's working with there. That's, that's it right there. That's full power. And I mean, I got a pretty good charge on my light. One thing I'm kind of freaking out about, Aiden said he has come in contact with coming up here, it's mountain lion. And there's even a cave close by where they say a mountain lion lives in it. Now he said they get startled, especially if you're in a group. Don't come here by yourself. Definitely come with a group of people, at least a, a buddy, like I'm with my buddy right now. But if you ever get approached by a mountain lion, you don't have any weapons on you or any, what is it called, that spray? Like, what kind of spray do they use on them? Bear spray. It's like bear spray. Just yeah. grab a handful of rocks like that. That's what he did yeah. and it worked. Yeah, throw it towards the ground at their paws. Okay, you're not trying to hurt them. No, just trying to startle them. Yeah, and they'll run off. I mean, they're probably scared anyway, just me and you being together. Yeah, yeah, because it looks more like a pack situation. Yeah. Instead of a solitary animal that's, that they can eat. I just got another question, though. What's that? What the hell is that? Okay, I saw, like, something big up there right now. That's not the question I was going to ask you, by the way. I was just going to ask you how much further we have because we've been walking for a hot minute. Probably about 10 more minutes. Okay, I saw something really big standing right up there. It was like by the tree. We worked really hard to get up up here right now. Well, yeah, it's really risky being up here. So if you haven't already, make sure to like this video. Go check out my boy Aiden too because he's a savage. I honestly would not be here without him. <laughs> Thanks, man. I mean, literally, I would not. Even if somebody else invited me to come out here, I'd be like, nah, <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, he wanted to turn back. <laughs> I, legit, I was, yeah. I mean, we've been walking for about half an hour. I mean, it took us about an hour to get up the mountain. We're working really hard to bring you a cool video here. Really hard. I thought it was an animal at first. Mm -hmm, yeah, me too. That looks like an old jacket I used to have. What if somebody went missing and this is like... A part of their clothes. Didn't you say people go missing up here? Yeah. Yeah, people go missing up here. There is no cell phone service at all up here. Nothing. Is there something in the road? I don't know. It got windy out of nowhere though. Yeah. Hello? like a you know, like a cough or a yeah. sneeze or something could have been a burp too all right we haven't ran into anybody which is cool yeah i think we're really cool. i think we're by ourselves up here that would be awesome yeah <laughs> two guys one mountain <laughs> mountain man broke back mountain oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right fam promise not to disappoint you i mean i know it took us a long time to get up here but i tell you what i'm cool with turning back right now and going back to the car and going on this really long walk back because this tunnel looks scary af oh my gosh then there's nobody in there oh my gosh there's even bars on it yo if my light dies we're screwed I got, um, I got my phone light. Uh, I, I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. Oh, wow. 
Oh, they put a heart at the entrance. They really don't want anybody going in here. Ready, bro? Alrighty, man. You ready? Um, I mean. Oh, that's new. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. It's so quiet. What if it collapses on us like more? definitely come here this was deeper huh I just think there's a, a oh look there's more metal up there right here. oh wow this is a piece of the school bus right here oh my goodness yeah that is in there those souls rest in peace we don't know the name of the school bus driver that was driving but you gotta think imagine what he was thinking in that, those final moments you know I mean school bus drivers are the ones that I've come in contact with as a you know when I used to ride a school bus as a kid they're very protective over their kids at least the good school bus drivers I can imagine you know he probably felt like just so defenseless you know like he couldn't protect these people Man, think about all the parents, like how sad that was, you know, losing all their children. That is horrible. If there's any one of you children or a school bus driver, I don't know your name, but if you want to communicate with us, we're right here. You just can't follow us back home. Did you hear that? It was a tap. <gasps> There's someone here? I'm not here to harm you. What's beyond the tunnel? Uh, the rest of the road. You can go to the other side, but you just have to go around the tunnel because this gate here will not let you go. Okay. Oh, so you can't get out? No, not on this gate. If you guys like tunnel videos, some of my favorite explore videos, honestly. Hello, who's there? Who's doing that tapping? Do you want us in here or do you want us to leave? Are we disturbing you? Bro, that got closer. Man, I don't I don't see any water. There's nothing moving on the ground either. Bro, whatever it is, it's getting closer to us. I think we need to go. I'm serious, I have I have a bad feeling. You have a bad feeling? Yeah, I got a bad feeling. You don't wanna stay? No. Nah. Right. Well, I mean, why don't you stay? Um, yeah. I'll, I'll go this way. Okay. I'll go on there. I'll go You're gonna hang out in the dark? Alright. Um man, actually a spirit box would I don't know man. I've when I have bad feelings like this and doing a spirit box, I I don't think that combination's good. 
because it could be some evil. I mean, it is a popular place. I mean, some people probably could have conjured up something different here. And that's what I'm feeling. I don't think spirit box is a good a good idea in here. I mean, look, look, there's like, there's all kinds that's of things. Cross, yeah. That's a satanic cross? Yeah, that's a satanic cross. Or a satanic star. star yeah. Sorry, that's, not that's not the Wiccan cross? No, that's not the Wiccan I mean, cross. It's upside down. Okay, there's right, a satanic right. star there. Uh, yeah, it's not a Wiccan star. Dude, I gotta do a spirit box down there. Man, I don't know. All right, go for it. All right, I'll tell them they can't come with us. Can you come with us? You might be just inviting them in, though. That's the thing. I haven't had a bad feeling like this in a long time somewhere. Who keeps tapping? Do you want to communicate with us? How do you feel about EMF readers? Those are okay. Okay. I'll turn on an EMF reader that I got. I just, I'm a little weary about the spirit box because I just, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this machine. It will notify us if there are any of the spirits that come around. If you guys want to communicate with us. Again, we're not here to hurt you. Do not hurt us. And don't come home with us. Yeah, you're not allowed to come home with us. So if any spirits would like to communicate, reach out and touch this machine in my hand. What? Candles, up here. candles? Yeah, like little uh, white tea -like candles. I told you somebody's been messing around with some spirits here. Yeah, I just hope that they knew what they were doing when they did it. That's the thing, is some people don't. Right. There's even look, there some somebody had a fire in here. Yeah, you can see that up on the top. See the burn? Oh yeah. Eight candles? Mm -hmm. When doing something like that, that's not the correct number to use. What's the correct number? Uh, threes. Three sets of threes. Okay. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> it was your haunted ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to blame that on me, bro? <laughs> Yo, that looks like Robert. My Robert the doll, right there. Oh, it does. Yeah, it's Robert the doll. It's funny because this is where we heard that tapping. Now we don't hear it anymore. You found the machine. What was that? Hello. And the tapping started again. And again. And then right by the candles were on. Oh gosh. Alright. Bro, I want to get out of here. Alright. Alright, it's not that I'm scared. I just I don't want to bring anything home with me. I've brought stuff home with me before, and this is feeling like one of those places where I could possibly be bringing back something, and I don't want to. I mean, I don't mind if it's something pop. Oh, I got something. You got something? I got something. I just don't want anything negative following me, okay? Dude, you heard that thump again? Dude, I'm telling you, there's a big, there's like something big over there. I keep hearing that tapping, dude. Like, it wasn't doing it when we were over there, and as soon as we got away from it, it just kept on. All right, fam, as we were walking right now out of the tunnel, the tapping, like, I don't know, we, I just heard a tap again. But it's like by the entrance, it's like it's following us or something. And I don't even know what it is. It's like a like somebody clapping with their hand or something. All right, fam, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Thanks so much for being a part of this adventure. I'm sorry if I had to cut it. 
a little shorter than I wanted to. Some places to me aren't worth investigating deeper because a lot of people that don't know what they're doing have probably been in here and gotten things that were evil to manifest themselves and I don't want one of those things manifesting itself and trying to take our positive energy. That has happened to me before. It's happened to Aiden before and it's scary. Whatever is here cannot follow us. You got that? Were you recording that? No. There was a response. You got a response. There was a response, bro. Say? I don't know. I don't know. I got a response. Oh gosh, bro, that makes me want to cry. How good is that? Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go in case something does happen. I'm gonna have my camera close by, but be sure to check out my friend Aiden and his channel. Links will be in the description. And watch my vlog channel if you want to get a little bit more content than just once or twice a week. I upload just about every day on that channel. Thank you so much for your support. I love you guys so much. Before you leave, go give me a kiss.